I'm Mark Grace, and I teach how to experidine. Tonight, I'm sitting here in my basil patch. Why my basil patch? Basil is one of the best nutrients, vitamins, and it's an oxidizer that you can add to your food. So it's technically an herb, but it has real nutritional value. So I grow it. And how do I grow it? I actually put it in seeds and then grow the seeds. This, out of all the seeds I planted, this plant right here is the only one that grew. But here's the secret. This is the secret about the uh, growing basil. You can, here, I cut the basil. Right here, I cut the basil and it cut into two. And it grew into two. And so I went inside. So when I go inside with my basil, I cut it. And so you have it like this. And so when I go inside, I actually put it in a little jar like this. And I put it in the jar like this. And then I cut it, it keeps it in the kitchen. But I want to show you, this is the secret. I want to show you what happens if you take the leaves off it and leave it in here. Look at this. It's growing roots. It's growing roots. And so what I do is I come out here and plant it. And as you see me go here, I'll just, it's this easy. I'll just plant it in the ground. And I'll, I'll keep water in that. I'll keep water in that for a week and it'll start to grow. And see, so you see what happens to my basil garden. I have the tall basil, it was two months ago. This is from maybe a month and a half ago. This is maybe from a couple weeks ago. So my basil grows. Now, what do I do with the basil? We put it on pasta, we put it on pizza, we put it on hamburgers. And at the end of the season, and if you look at this, this is reaching the end of the season. This is the flower. And this flower has, you know, this one might have 50 to 100 seeds just right here, this flower. So we let it go to flower, we let it seed. Now, before we do though, what we do, we make pesto. So I'll come out here and strip every leaf off of this. And I'll let it keep browning until this flower turns into seed pods. And I'll collect those seed pods for next year. And I'll just come out to the same patch and throw them. And if I'm lucky, I get one, two, three, four, come up. And then I cut it like I just said, cut it down here and they'll, they'll grow into bushes. And so I'll have this six, seven months of the year. And at the end of the year, I take all the leaves and make pesto. Pesto is real easy to do. There's four things in pesto. It's the actual basil leaf. It's, it's a nut like pine nuts or walnuts. You add olive oil and then you add Parmesan cheese and you got pesto. So freeze it. We freeze it immediately and then pull it out with two or three tablespoons with pasta or whatever we're making at that point. It's perfect. It's wonderful. So this is one of those things. Basil itself is a very simple plant. We plant it in the semi-sun. It just rained here, so you can see it might be shining and have some water drops on it. And it, it actually grows very quickly. And if you keep cutting it, you see how bushy it gets and how big the leaves get. So, hey, this is really easy to do. We have it almost every night. As I said in another video, we have salads, a lot of garden salads. We put this in the garden salad. One, two, three leaves in a big garden salad. It really flavors it up. Once again, this is one of my experiments to eat better. This is very nutritional, high in vitamins, and it's an antioxidant. So easy to grow. It's something you can do. I do it. You can do it. Live better. Experidime together. I learned how to do this through lots of other people. Lots of other garden growers showed me how to do this, and I'm passing it on to you. So go live a good life, experidime, and receive joy.